Howdy. One of the most significant life affecting decisions you make will be your college choice. It takes a lot of time. Plan your time wisely. Socialize more with the computer science people. I wish I would have gotten more involved. No, you look crazy. Say math. Math. <laughs> Why choose computer science or computer engineering at Texas A&M University? Texas A&M is probably one of the biggest universities and most exciting universities I've ever attended. It's kind of like a small town that's 40,000 people. Texas A&M's computer science department is a strong department, lots of opportunities and very diversified in what they teach. And the research that's going on at Texas A&M University is really significant. We have one of the strongest programs for bioinformatics and robotics research. Robotics and bioinformatics are two totally different topics and the thing that ties them together is motion planning. For a robot it might be to find the route to go from, you know, here in my office to the elevator. For bioinformatics research, it may be to find the motion of a molecule, say a protein molecule, to see how it might go from one position, say a good position, to a bad position. There are a lot of different aspects of graphics research. It ranges from ways of creating geometric models, ways of simulating the world, ways of capturing the way people behave, move around, using the physics of light and the way it interacts with objects to create a beautiful image in the end. There's also other resources as well, for instance, the motion capture lab that we have at a &M. A lot of 3D animation movies that are made by motion capture. So sketch recognition is at the, at the crossroads between AI, human-centered systems research, the idea is that we're trying to recognize sketches uh, that people draw naturally without having to train people to draw them in any particular method. There's uh, many different uh, applications that can be made uh, using sketch recognition, including in education, in game development, um, also in just design is probably the most prevalent way people use sketch recognition. Here you develop problem solving skills. Five, four, three, two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis. Computer science really isn't just a major that puts you in a cubicle to write code. I've had opportunities to work on Mars rovers. Those are the kind of jobs that I got to apply for that, that weren't necessarily your stereotypical write, write Microsoft Office or something like that. If you want to be in biology or rocket science or medicine, you'll end up dealing with software. It's just a matter of how. The best programmers are actually spending a lot of time understanding problems, interacting with people so that they, they know they're solving the right problems in the right way. Recruiting top faculty to teach you the basics of computation and the fundamentals of research is a priority for us. Having such a large and strong faculty here at A&M is a major advantage over many smaller schools. We actually have three graphics faculty in the computer science department that are solely concentrated on graphics. As a teacher, it's also fun because a lot of times the students enjoy doing it. And it's always fun to teach a class that students enjoy taking. Some of the professors do a very good uh, job of explaining good concepts to the students. They made it very challenging and difficult, but it paid off once I got into the real world. Some of our undergraduates are peer teachers. As a peer teacher, I'm the first step of, of assistance that a student can ask for. I'm just kind of their friend, their peer that's, that's there to answer questions, to help them out. I really strive to connect students who are in different parts of, of their career journey. And you can choose to co-op or intern with top companies in computer science and engineering while enrolled in our department. I began speaking with the Career Center at A&M. They offer uh, a nice way that you can just upload your resume and employers can, can look at those resumes and contact you as, as they want to. I started working for Secure Info in June 2006 when I was looking for a summer internship in San Antonio. And that started by me posting my resume on Craigslist and a short time after that, the vice president for engineering at the company contacted me. I went to the engineering career fair and dropped off my resume at a couple of places and ended up choosing Hewitt Packard since they're in the area. We have over 800 recognized student organizations at Texas A&M. 
There are tons of student organizations to participate in around campus. I'm the advisor for the uh, Texas Aggie Game Developers, which is a group that works on game development. The Academy of Future International Leaders is a multidisciplinary program that's sponsored through the study abroad office. Second semester, I was also a part of the Aggie Players, which is an organization that the theater department works with. I participate in um, an a organization called Carpool, which is a safe ride program uh, that will offer you a ride home on Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights if you're out and, and doing things around the town or if you're just stuck somewhere and you need a ride home. Once an Aggie, always an Aggie is an expression that conveys Texas A&M's uniquely rich history and our department's lifetime involvement with its computer science and computer engineering graduates. It's a great place to really explore your interest. It's such a big university, there are so many different areas that you can explore. They always say howdy and everybody's willing to give you a hand in anything, even if you hardly know them. I think it's still a very personable type atmosphere. People know you, you're just not like number 67549 or whatever it is. It's been a lot of fun here at A&M. Um, I've had a, a really good time and I'm pretty sad that I'm leaving. Aggies always want other Aggies to succeed. Come join us.